The season has been a ride so far. When you talk about the season as a whole, there's obviously a lot, a lot, a lot of ups. So that's always a fun thing. We still look at that as a way to learn. And I think we've done that the whole season, which is a great way to continue moving forward. I think we're gonna always hang our hat on, on the idea of commitment and work ethic. The most important thing for me has always been culture and coaches talk about it all the time. We don't ask our kids to do anything that we're not willing to do. We ask a lot of them, but our staff works really, really hard. We're always available for them. And that's led to a lot of really good conversations when it came to relationships and understanding my coaching style and what we wanted to accomplish. Coach Jeff honestly came in and had to set the tone and it was a big change for us and he wanted to build his program the way he wants it. Third season, you know, we have some experience under my belt, but honestly I felt more like a freshman this year coming in. Everyone's on the same playing field with the new staff. As this isn't about looking ahead to things, okay? As I talked to you after the game, you know, where we put ourselves in the table, all that, that's great. That's where we are today. Let's be sharp, let's be focused. Right? We want to see effort, we want to be smart in the way that we play and compete throughout the session. Okay? Ready to go? One of the unique approaches we take is we don't have team captains. It really is a player-led group. It's allowed our players to have their own piece of ownership in the process. Some kids are really vocal, some kids are just show up and do the work every day. I honestly really enjoy that because it empowers everyone to be a leader and holds everyone accountable to push each other and motivate each other and show up every day and um, lead by example. Like Murray, that last one, you took your own angle away by taking a touch wider. You're already there, just rip it, put it on frame. Great on one, one, great, let's go. Bringing in new teammates this season was really awesome for us. It was something different that I wasn't used to, but I think the team opened our arms and it's really pushed our level even further. I think the three transfers we brought in was key. The hardworking kids, ultra committed. Uh, they're not just competitors, but they're proven winners. And they all have different backgrounds. You know, Justina played in one of the elite clubs in the country, had an incredible freshman year at Butler. Lauren DeBeau took a different path to sport athlete, played with another really good club. And I thought always really stood out as a player at Central Michigan. And Ava, I can't say enough good things about Ava. Four years, she's given me everything that she possibly could. She's doing the same for us here at Michigan State. I played for Coach Hostler at Grand Valley for four years. For my final season, I mean, I could not have asked for a better welcoming team. The success we've had as a season obviously started off with our non-conference play, played some really, really good teams, and we got some good results. So we couldn't be happier with that. But as much as non-conference is a great challenge, obviously the Big Ten is the best challenge there is. So I think that gave us a lot of confidence that we needed because we know we're capable. We find ourselves down in a couple games, so that doesn't mean we ever give up. And I think that's something that this team especially prides themselves on. We know we deserve to be in it, so we're gonna continue to fight. I couldn't be more thrilled with the way this group is, has galvanized around each other, centered around that work ethic and commitment level they've demonstrated this fall. To be where we are in Big Ten play, we've knocked off you know, what are considered to be two NCAA tournament teams this year. It takes a really large leap of faith to trust somebody at the onset. But ultimately, that's what the staff had to do with players, and maybe even a bigger step, vice versa. We're all so invested, and we are really buying into what he has to say and the way he's coaching. The leaps and bounds that this team has made has been incredible. For those kids to trust us and believe in the process that we are trying to generate early on in preseason, put us in a position where we can start challenging ourselves and take bigger steps. I'm really humbled to be a part of this transition and be able to see the program succeed. Every new game is a new chance for us to show who we are and what we're building. This year has been fantastic. I've come to really love this group. These kids just come every day so excited to train. You know, I think this is just the start of what we're going to be capable of. There's just incredible excitement around this team and around this program and what we're trying to do. I think there's big things coming to women's soccer here at Michigan State. I don't like to get too far ahead of myself, obviously. We're kind of the team that focuses on one day at a time, making sure that what we do prepares us for the future in, in every way. But man, I'm looking forward to keep it rolling and whatever the tournament has in store for us.